Hi, it's Karen with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another vintage haul from my sister-in-law. This is uh, another bin of things that she's brought to me after she's cleaning out her closets and things. Oh, look who I have, though. Look who I have. She came to visit. Look, Muffin. Look in the camera. There she is. <laughs> this is Muffin. She's my partner. She's a little troublemaker. Um, so what we have here are some uh, textiles and a few hard goods and yeah and then I also there's a bunch of jewelry but I'm going to do that in a separate video. So I'm going to start with this. This is like a um, table runner maybe? But it's got some beautiful embroidery and I believe that this is Southeast Asian. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. Interesting colors. It's kind of a pinky beige and a maroon and very fine stitching. Just needs a little press, maybe. Um, you know, it might be a, a towel. I think maybe it's a towel. Because it's only got fringe on one end. Okay, then we have a belt. This. I'm guessing this is either Mexican or Guatemalan, but I'm not, again, I'm not 100% sure. It's very colorful. It's got some birds, some people. It's just, it's a tie belt. And then you tie it. <laughs> not ties in Thailand. So, it's very pretty. And we have another belt. This one. I don't know what this one is. I was thinking it could be African. There's a lot, quite a bit of African stuff in this lot, so, but I really don't know. But it's very beautifully woven. Could, it could, again, be, I don't know, it could be Guatemalan, it could be Peruvian. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm so ignorant. Now this made me laugh. Those of us of a certain age might remember when um, making colorful uh, covers for your Kleenex boxes was all the rage. This one is done with a plastic needlepoint canvas, but look at it. <laughs> it's insane! It makes your Kleenex box look like a creature. It makes it look like it's going to run away or something. Um, it's got little, I guess those are um, cross stitch, little pointy things, and and I have to say it's it's kind of not in great shape. So I may not, I don't, I'm probably not going to sell that. It's just not in good enough shape. See, it's got it's got some loose loose loops here and there. I'll look at it and see if there's any way to. But yeah, it's kind of a little too fuzzy. Yeah, probably not. And this is sweet. This is a little coil basket or bowl. Um, my best guess is this is African. Very sweet. Oh, and then we have one of these wonderful three-dimensional doilies. Oh, goodbye. Um, Usually when I find these, for some reason, they're stained. I guess because people use them on their dining tables to put hot bowls on and things. This one's not, though. This one's in good condition. I might see what I can lock that with, because selling one doily by itself is kind of not that productive. Okay. Um, we have this very sheer scarf with the little gold flowers. Little, I don't know what those are. They look like little club symbols, you know, clubs from from cards. That looks like. See, what that looks like. But I don't know. But anyway, it's very sheer. It's got gold. It's very pretty. scarf. 
This one has like a, it might be silk, I'm not sure. And it's got a little crochet edge with these little, very finely crocheted little tiny, like almost like Barbie doilies, little doilies attached to it all the way around the edge. It's a square scarf and these are all around the edge and it looks like it's in good condition. No, well, yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I don't know where that came from. And then we have one more scarf. This is another sheer one. With these pretty flowers woven in. I guess I have to try to iron this, but it feels sort of synthetic, like it might melt. So I have to be careful. But these flowers feel like they're done in silk. It's interesting. It's a little scarf, not very big. Oh, oh, and we have one more belt. And this one, I've sold another one of these before. Probably also came from my sister-in-law, Marion. But it, this is Guatemalan, I think. It's either Guatemalan or Mexican, but I think it's Guatemalan. With these little people on the bows. And it's got plastic buckle. Very cute. These little people are so cute. Um, okay, that is it for the textiles. I don't know what this is doing here. This is nothing. Um, okay, so we have, the, I have a couple of things actually that came from a different sister, but I'm lumping it together. She came over, they all came over for uh, my husband's birthday last Saturday. And they didn't bring a whole lot of stuff other than food, um, but one sister brought me a couple of uh, ceramic pieces. So this is one of them. This is a wash bowl, I guess, and it is Shalinor, no, Shalinora, Shalinor, Panama is the pattern. This is a Victorian, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's blanking the style of pottery it is, but anyway, pretty blue and white. It does have a little rust stain right there, right, well, you can see it, and I haven't been able to get rid of that. If I could get rid of that, this would be worth selling. If I can't get rid of it, I don't know. It's got, there are a couple of little rim chips, but they're underneath the rim. You really can't see them, so, um, yeah, I'm going to get that off. I've tried bleaching it out, and it won't come out. So, feels rough. Feels like maybe I could sand it off. But anyway, that's a pretty cool piece. And then, got the... Okay, sorry. I um, had to change the batteries in my camera. Uh, anyway, I was saying, this is a mid-1800s piece. It is a Dalton's. It has some numbers, and it's Elaine is the pattern, and it's got something imprinted on it, which I can't quite read. That's what the bark mark looks like. But I just think this kind of pale blue is so pretty. And there were um, a couple of other, like, graduated dishes that went with this. They were in such bad condition. They were, like, cracked and stained and chipped and really bad, so I can't sell those. So. I put those in my mosaic supplies if I ever get back to mosaic. Um, but anyway, I thought that pen dish was clean enough that I could sell it. Okay, we have a deck of playing cards that are Northwest birds. And I suspect these are not vintage. So if I sell them at all, I will put them on Amazon probably, but I may just donate them or keep them. We've have a lot of playing cards. And I have another little textile. This is a counted cross stitch rose in a vase. Very, very, very tiny counted cross stitch. It's very sweet. It's in good condition. It's just a 
thread. Yeah. Like that. And we have a drawing. This appears to be an African village. The price of it was 30,000 K. I don't know what that is. Um, but it's a, a pen and ink, I guess, on um, handmade paper. It's quite nice. I like it. A little dog and some little people, some houses and some palm trees and some clouds. Yep. Okay, we have a little purse, which clearly says Nana's. Nana being my husband's grandmother. She died very shortly after Rob and I started dating and I never got to meet her. And I feel so bad about that because I've heard so much about her since. She was just, sounds like she was such a character. And I think she was like close to 100 when she died. Take that tape off before it damages something. But this looks like something that probably would have been picked up on a vacation to a, a place like Mexico. It's very cute. And it's got the three little snaps inside. No, it's lined. It's very nice, but there's no pockets or anything. But it's in pretty good condition. There's one, one little loose straw that I might see if I can repair it. Or if not, maybe just cut it off. But yeah, but it's cute. Okay. Oops, sorry. This is interesting. We have an icon, a Russian icon, hand-painted. Virgin Mary and Baby Jesus. It's in fantastic condition. It just, uh, it looks wonderful. I don't know where she found this, but it's a nice one. Looks like she got it, you know, at a, a state sale or garage sale or something. And it looks like it has some age to it. This wire looks pretty old, but it's hard to tell. It's got some crazing, but sometimes that's done artificially to make them look old. Just part of the style of this type of painting. But I think that's very pretty. And this is too cute. It's a little triptych. This is um, African. I had a big painting that was done in this style that I did sell. Uh, it's got an angel. Um, it's, got, you know, it's got an angel. It's got Jesus. It's got more angels. I'm not sure exactly what scene this is meant to portray, but anyway, it's very nicely done. This is all a little hand carved. I've got a real mixed bag here, as you can see. This is, I believe that this was made from a coconut. It's just a little decoration. It has a little a break right there. It used to have two holes. Now it just has one. But other than that, it's in good condition has a little sticker that says Echo in Mexico. It's very interesting. It's a two, a face, a sun with two faces. I don't know. Is it a flower? I don't know. It's weird. But it's a nice folk art example. And we have yet another Virgin Mary. This is in a very different look. <laughs> this is a planter. Probably a 1950s to 1960s. My mother had one like this, I think, very similar. Uh, there are no marks or nothing on the bottom, so no idea what it is, but it's in good condition. And we have this plate. This is a hand painted plate with some oak leaves and acorns and a spider web and a spider. This is very cute. And there is absolutely
absolutely nothing on the back. So, no idea to tell what the, oh, it, oh, it's signed. Sorry, it is signed. Sue 82, so not as old as it looks, but it is vintage. Very cute. Okay, and we have, well, if I can get these. Hold on. Uh, can't get my fingers around it. There. I have a couple of books. This is Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. This one is beautifully illustrated by N.C. Wyeth, who's a very famous illustrator. Um, it is copyright 1911, copyright 1939, sorry. So obviously it's not a first edition or anything. Um, I looked up the value of this. It's not worth a whole lot, and this one's not in great condition. So I will probably donate this. And the same goes for this. The Tin Woodman of Oz. This one is... You know, this one's got a lot of writing and stuff in it. Merry Christmas, 1973. Famous Oz books. Um, I don't know what year this was. Well, I don't know. 1918, it looks like, was the original. And this, I think, came later. This is probably more like in the 1930s. But, yeah, I will donate those. And I think, um, whew, I think that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like any of these things and I haven't gotten them for sale yet, let me know and I'll put them at the top of the list. And um, let's see, what else do I have to say? Uh, have a nice weekend. Thumbs up if you like the video. And I guess that's all. Thanks. See you soon.